Fuck my tight little pussy. Yeah! Hey now. Wait, get on? the fuck out of my face, man. You really don't want to say what you're doing down here today or anything? I don't give a fuck what you say, man. Get the fuck out of my face. Are you gonna are you gonna talk to Artie today or I don't give to... a fuck about Artie. Who gives a shit? What about leave Howard? Me the, leave me the fuck alone, man. Let me just ask you one more question. Please. Just leave me the fuck alone. What, what about Howard, man? Are you, are you excited to see him? Just leave me the fuck alone, dude. Alright. So you're not excited to be here today? Just leave me the fuck alone. Alright. Alright, Pete. I'll leave you alone. Good luck in there today. Yeah, whatever. Hey, I had some thoughts about Beetlejuice. He's coming in to promote his new DVD. There was something funny the guys were getting into with him, and we got to do this today. They gave him an iPod, and they told, oh, him it, yeah. they told him it was a telephone, and all you have to do is stand. Like, Beetle could be looking at you, and, tell, and, and you can be talking to him, but he thinks he's on the phone. Right. It's really weird. <laughs> we got to do And I'm going to hand him. Sad. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hand him different. And I'm sure he can even hear this. It doesn't make a difference. Like, I'm going to hand him a sponge. <laughs> and like a, talk into it? Or, like, I'll, I'll give him, like, my Poland Springs water bottle. <laughs> or, like, a dildo and shit. And I, whatever. I whatever might even you give him, have on uh, hand. I'm even thinking of giving him the Beetlejuice head. <laughs> we have this giant Beetlejuice head. I'm yeah. going to tell him it's a Beetlejuice phone. What about, um, see, I don't know. The, the water would be hilarious. I don't know if we... <clears throat> fall for that. But. He, he seems to think everything's a phone. <laughs> that and everything like, can talk to And him. all you got to do, Artie, is put your hand over your mouth and go, you know, hey, Beat, what's going on? It's Howard. And I remember from the, the yeah. tape, that's hilarious. I'm going to, uh, Richard's going to come running in and collapse on the floor, and I'm going to tell Beat he needs to call 911. <laughs> and I'll be like, hello, 911. Why don't you tell Beatle he needs to do CPR? See what he thinks oh, that is. Fuck. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, I'll, I'll, uh, when I'm the operator, I'll go, would you consider trying CPR? He might have had a heart attack. Now, you're going to need to save this man's life. <laughs> oh, All right. That's great. Yeah, yeah let, let, let him do mm. CPR. I was <laughs> thinking I could tell Beat that this phone is a direct link to Osama bin Laden. And he's got to yell at him for what he did in 9-11. Beat him. Mm. And then, oh, and then I have another idea here. Okay. So, uh, one of the guys came up with this, and uh, whoever did. Um, Richard's going to come dressed up as a girl. And tell him we're going to tell Beat that he's a lap dancer. If Beat wants a lap dance from a pretty girl, really? Yeah, he's got to know it's a guy, right? If it's Richard, I'm mm. sure Richard can't pull off a great woman, even for Beetle. TV channels tell me to put on my sunglasses. I'll look handsomer. I could tell the 911 operator go, Mr. Juice, you need to blow into his ass. <laughs> Get a straw. Is there a straw? <laughs> But you have to save his life. You could try one too, you know. Just put, <laughs> let me see how you sound when you do the hand over your mouth. Hello, Mr. Uh, Beetlejuice. Yeah. That's all you need to do. I'll get it started, but you guys, Artie, would probably be real good at this yeah. too. We could, uh, we could go around the whole fucking room. <laughs> Everybody mm. who's got an idea, just chime in. All right, here's what I got for a telephone. I got a can of, I got a dildo, a sponge. I got a, one of those egg beaters. <laughs> yeah, look at this thing. Oh, that's I funny. got an egg beater. Ah, that's a, a whisk. A whisk. And I got um, a, a luncheon loaf can of, like, Spam. Oh, good. A can of Spam. Hello. <laughs> it's good to communicate through. I'm trying to, there's got to be a... Uh, How come you're putting on your shades, Artie? You, uh, you... <laughs> what is he doing now? He did this yesterday, Artie's too, got a new look. Where he puts on shades. Yeah. I'm into the uh, Howard influenced me. Uh, on the, for when a guest comes in, I'm putting on my shades. I, I, I don't know. Is that wrong? Is that crazy? I mean, uh, am, I the, am I the moron? That is <laughs> really funny. I think he looks good with his shades. These are $9 shades. You look handsome. You spent all of $9 on that? <laughs> you look like Down Elvis. Tampa, when I bought the bathing suit. <laughs> Artie, let me blow air into your ass. You look so handsome. <laughs> all right, everybody. Is um, that what he's doing uh, now? He has a shade look, too, for the TV. Hey, so uh, here comes Beetlejuice. Uh, Beetle's going to promote his new DVD, Bad as Can. I'm hyper-focusing on the shades right now. I got a couple of clips, too, of Beetle's uh, new CD. DVD, rather. What do you mean, DVD? Uh, I think it's like a, like a day in the life of Beetlejuice. Oh, His DVDs are hilarious. Yeah, these are pretty good. I, I spoke to a couple of guys who got this, and it said it's good. All right. Where's the beat? What's the matter? Why? You, what's the matter with beat? <laughs> he heard you want to talk to him on the... Hey, beat, what's uh -oh. happening? DVD, brand new DVD, Beetlejuice. Hey, now. It's not a good day. It doesn't uh -oh. look like... I wish he'd smoke some weed. I love when he's pissed off. Why are you angry? Because I'm tired of it. Uh, yeah, what happened? Just tired of it. Of what? What are you tired of? Tired of everything.
What happened to you? I don't care. Uh oh, you know, come clean. I haven't seen you in a while. Something went wrong. What happened? I don't care. I'm leaving. I hey, don't care. You're, you're leaving? leaving? What? Why? He's got my attitude. Because I'm tired of it. You did sound you like hear, Artie. Did you see Richard take the straw? <laughs> oh, that's well, what it was. Go for hell. I got to admit, a, he's got a go point. Him. Richard go put a, a, a straw in his ass. Go for him. He's crazy. Go for him. How you been, pal? Not much. Nothing? Wow. All right. Well, I was going to talk about your new DVD. I heard some of it. It's great. Go for you, Howard. Go for you. Uh, oh, uh, do you have clips of it, Howard? What is I do have some. Would you, would you like me to play some clips of the new DVD? I don't care what you do. I wow. don't care. All right. Well. Do you want to sell some DVDs, B? I ain't selling nothing. I don't care what you do with them. I don't care. What went wrong? I thought you were in a good mood. Did you smoke weed? Nope. You, I ain't feeling like it. I ain't doing it. You drinking at all? Nope. Does someone need a hug? You want Robin to hug you? Nope. Wow. Want me to hug you? Nope. I love you. Are you feeling okay? Do I look like I'm feeling all right? No, no actually, oh, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. Do you have a cold? <laughs> What's the matter, buddy? What's going wrong? Just talk to me. It's your pal. I don't feel like it. Ah, oh, he's really upset. All right, well, forget it, then. Uh, all right. Hey, we got somebody uh, to talk to you, Beetle. Go for them. I got a phone call from somebody. Go for them. Let me give you the phone. Hold on. Hold on. This is going to cheer you up. <laughs> Do you know uh, Hillary Clinton? I don't want to know nothing. I don't want to know nothing. Do you know Carmen Electra? Nope. I don't want to know nothing. Wait, Carmen Electra wants to speak to you. Give, yeah, uh, give Beat them. the phone. Here. Beat, just say, talk to the phone. I ain't talking to no phone. Hello, oh, Beat? Beat. Beat, this is Carmen Electra. He won't no, even take the phone. He won't no. take the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Great idea. <laughs> well, I didn't know Beat was going to be in a bad mood. I don't understand what's going on. Was he like this out there? Was he in a bad mood? You know, he came in and I heard, I heard that he said, uh, just get the cameras off me. But, oh. you know, he, his, he, when he comes in, his moods change. Sometimes he rallies for the show. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Beat. I didn't know you were in a bad mood. I was happy to see you. You know you can come here and promote anything you want. What can we do to make you happy, Beat? Would you like... <laughs> Nothing, because I don't care like... Would you, li would you like to... Um, Moontang? Would you like to speak to a girl who wants to give you a blowjob? Nope. I ain't doing Wait, here, answer, this is a sponge phone. Here, answer this phone. I'm telling you, I talk to this girl. She's so know. hot, Beat. She's Carmen Electra. Yeah, go for it. Go Hello, for Beat. You. This is Carmen Electra. Beat, Beat. It's Carmen Electra. I don't care. That's <laughs> my Hello, Beetle? Um, you gotta take the phone, Beat. I ain't taking nothing. Beat, this is Carmen Electra. I ain't taking nothing. I want to give you a blowjob. Give yourself a blowjob. Just put it under oh. your headphones. I ain't giving it to nobody. I ain't doing nothing for nobody. Are you upset because you have to? You can't live with Sean anymore? You have to go back to... I, I don't care. I don't have to. I don't want to. Is that what's happening? I he heard, can't live with Sean That's anymore? what I heard a rumor that he has to go back and live with his mom. Care. I don't care. I'm going to live with my mother. I don't care. You want to live with Sean, right? Nope. If you have a choice between living with your mom or Sean, who do you want to live with? Nope. Hey, I'm Was trying there to a help fight you here. or something? Just live with my mom and that's it. Oh, I'm sorry. I know you love living at Sean's. I didn't know that was going on. I'm sorry. It's all right. I don't care. What happened? I just don't Wait, care. Sean's on the phone. He wants to speak to you. Here, I don't care give about him the sponge Sean. Phone. I don't care about no Sean. Sean wants to talk to you. Sean, here, Sean. Sean. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Hey, Beat, hi, it's Sean. Yeah, okay. Beat, whatever. you can live here. <laughs> Beat, it's yeah. me, Sean. Yeah, okay. Talk whatever. to Howard. It's okay. <laughs> Take the sponge phone. I want to talk <laughs> to you. <laughs> all right, forget it. Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I'd love to know exactly what is bothering Beetle. I think he wants to buy a second house, and uh, people were making fun of him for it. <laughs> Beat, are you going to hold out for the Freedom Tower? I don't and, care uh, what you do. Uh, seriously, what ha what happened, Beat? What's the matter? Talk to Artie. What's what's I going on? Care. Artie's on care. heroin. He has his problems, too. So I he can, can relate, well, buddy. That's his problem. So. Right. You're right. All right. Well, this is not a very good appearance. No. Well, I feel bad. I, don't, I wonder what's going on. I don't care. Don't you want to make money? I don't care about the money. Well, what about your DVD sales? I don't care. They I see them it. drying I up. I don't give a shit. Are you ready to give it all up? Wow. Are you quitting show business? Yep. What? Getting shit. Getting what are you saying? There's a phone call for you on this can. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, wait, wait, here. You got on this... Uh, what yeah, on this thing, <laughs> this thing over here. There's a phone call. It's the president of yeah. show business. Yeah, whatever. Look Beetle. at the phone. Take the phone. Beetle. I ain't taking nothing. All right. He won't even look at it. I love Beetle. I do. Yeah, whatever. Boy, Whoa. did he come in in a bad mood, or was he? Did he get get get, get in a bad mood recently? Do you know well? Were you with Beetle? Uh, I, don't I don't know. What? Oh, I got it. What is it? Go ahead, Gary. I don't have the answer except to tell you that he slept the whole ride in. They were, you know, the guys that drove him woke him up at the tunnel to get him uh, ready, uh, and he he's was tired. Good. They woke you up, Beat. 
I don't care what they do. Mm-hmm. And whenever they wake him up, he wakes up in a bad mood. You got in a bad mood. All right. I that's think he's fair. sick. Yeah, yeah, you got a cold or well, something? Well, B, go home and take care of yourself, okay? You know, maybe get into bed, watch some TV, and eat something, you know? I don't care if I might eat something, I kill myself. I kill what? No, 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 oh. no, no, no. What happened? B, what do you mean? Don't ever say that. Don't even yeah. joke about stuff yeah. like that. The guy ain't joking, I ain't joking. Why would you want to hurt yourself? Beat, you're not being serious, are you? Yep. Why? What happened? Because I felt like it. What went wrong? Tell me. Because I felt like What's it. What's on your mind? Honestly, I'm I being... I don't care. All the joking around aside. I don't care. You're not going to kill yourself, are you? Because I'm going to call the doctor. Go ahead. We can't let you go if you're going to do that. I don't care. Die anyway. He's talking about hurting himself. I I'm know. I'm being serious. I know. We had a hot chick for him, too. Well, forget that hot chick. I think right, this is serious. Minute. I think that might be the only thing that... No, trust me. We'll make him rally. He doesn't even want to talk about women. That hot chick, maybe not. I forgot. <laughs> this is like when Artie broke up with Dana. Yeah. Oh. It's even worse because... Is he okay, Art? What's going on? I don't know. I really... I honestly feel like uh, it's it's a totally serious issue. Yep. Bigger than something he's ever had before. Mm. You know? He, he's been down before, but not like this. Not Beat, like this. If there's anything I can do, I would like to help you. That's I don't know. I, you know, we always goof around and stuff, but... I don't care. You know you can talk to Howard, right, if you want to talk? If you feel like talking. And off the air, I mean, not on the air. I don't care. Whatever you want to do. Would All you right. tell Howard off the air what's going would on? Would you talk to me so I can help? Nope. I don't know. I would do something to help you. <laughs> no, I didn't help Did me. something happen this morning, Beetle, on the way in or last I don't night? Yeah, I don't care what it is. I don't care. Hmm. Is it my sunglasses? I'll They're tell you what. Me. I like your sunglasses. They're depressing me. All right. I'm not going to keep Beetle here. I, I don't think he wants to be here today. Uh, did someone force you to come down here? No. No. But you don't want to stay. Yeah, I can do what you want. Well, right. I'm not Beat. I'm not going to keep you here if it's torture. But I would. I'm, is someone here with you? I don't want to let you out of here alone. Seriously. He's got two guys with him. He does. Yeah. Let me talk to the guys. You can talk to him. Let me speak to them, and I want to make sure they're going to keep an eye on him because hey. he's talking suicide. Yeah. This ain't good. How would he do it? No, I don't want to know. How would you do it, Beetle? You're not going to hurt yourself. Yeah, going to make a bet. Oh, boy. Oh. Uh, who is this? Who is this gentleman here? This looks like a responsible guy, actually. Jason. Hey, Jason. How you doing? What's going on with Beat? I mean... I, I really don't know. He was fine on the way here, and uh, he took a nap, and he woke up from his nap, and this is how he's been. Wow. Wow. All right. Are you guys going to keep an eye on him because he's talking about hurting himself? Oh, definitely. You re Seriously? Yes. All right. Beat, I don't want to keep you here if you're upset. Would you like to leave? Yeah. Okay. Or are you going to you gonna go off with the guys and uh, maybe get some more rest? Come back and see me when you're in a better mood? I don't know. Do you have something else to do today? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Does he have anything to do today? No. Nothing. Oh. All right. Well, Beetle's my friend, and I know he's having a hard time today. So if you assure me that you guys are going to keep your eye on him, I'll allow him to leave. And we hope you feel better next we hope time you we feel see better. you, Beetle. Beat. Things ain't that bad. Yeah, I won't be around. Oh, oh. boy. Oh. Are you guys going to bring him to a hospital or something? He's threatening to hurt himself. Seriously. I've never heard him talk like that. Never. I've never heard Beetle like this. What are you going to do, B? Why, 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 why do you want to hurt yourself like that? Because I felt like it. Beat, you got a great life. Everyone loves you. Who cares? You want to just sit here and listen to the show? Or would you rather just maybe you should go home and just get some sleep, okay? I'm like killing myself right now. Oh. oh, my goodness. What do you think? Does he get like this a lot? Occasionally, but not too often. You got to think of your mom and your sister. You can't hurt yourself. They depend they on you. They need you. They need you. Who cares? They, they love you. Who cares? I care. We need you. The fans need you. Yeah, who cares about the fans? I don't care about it. Ooh. I don't. Pete, look at me. Don't hurt yourself. I feel like it. All right. Trust me on this. You just got a bad cold or something. You need some rest. Yeah, he he should go home and rest. All right, Beat. I love you, Beat. You take it easy, okay, Beetle? All right, Beat. 
I'll be fine. No, no, All no. Right. Go ahead. You, he'll be okay. Uh, the guys are going to keep their eye on Have you been drinking today, Beatles, uh, or anything? No. Yeah. Just sometimes it gets hard. Maybe. Yeah. Hey, it gets hard for everyone. I understand. Maybe. Well, you come back and see us real soon. I don't know. I might not. Oh, you beat. gotta, you gotta keep us on your list. Beat, come on, this is crazy talk. You're the man. You always have been. You gotta think about the good times. Yeah. I've had I hard times. Me no more. What? What? I've had hard times. Look at my face. That says it all, man. <laughs> I, I ain't no pretty boy. Girls, think... girls were never that nice to me. I think Beetle was just saying that the good times are no more. But why, Beetle? Oh. There'll be good know. times. They're going to be good times. Yeah, you just got to ride this out. And then the good times will come again. You... They always come back. I don't think it will. They will. I'm telling Not you. You got to trust me. me. What yes, was the, they will. What was the best time you ever had? Nothing. Ah, oh, come on. Remember when you were fucking those girls? I don't know. Oh. And I don't uh, want to know. Come on. That's Dwarfy a... style? Come Dwarfy on. Dwarfy style. Remember Dwarfy style? I don't know. Ah, uh, you know. Don't, don't kid me. I haven't been around. We've had some good times. Remember Vegas? I don't, I don't know. Remember you were in Vegas? I don't know. Me remember I got drunk, I fell off the stage. Remember you were laughing at me? I don't remember. Remember the first time we met? I and don't you came in with that other guy, that, that, that midget guy, and you were laughing? We were having a good time? I don't know. I don't remember. Remember, remember the first time? I don't know. Remember singing your song and having... Uh, I don't know. Do you remember... The band sing your song? I don't know. Remember being up on stage? With I Stained? Don't I don't know. Remember Stained, those guys, and they made a, they made a copy of your song and you oh, loved it? That, they can have it. I don't care. They can have it. I and remember care. you were in the hotel with two girls and you were fucking them? I don't know. Ah, come on. Beat. How you about remember. hanging out with Richard and Sal, going around with the Reverend Bob? Having a good time? I don't care about them, so. Robin, that might be care. what I've done it. Oh, I don't care. Remember the last day uh, on the rally, millions of people on the street were cheering for you, and everyone was screaming Beetlejuice? I don't know. Oh, you remember. Come on, I give don't. me a smile. Give me I one little know. smile, please, pal. How about every gig I've ever been uh, with you two, they, they chant your name, they Beetle, love you. Beetle, Beetle, Beetle. They can chant all they want, I don't care. Now, this ain't the uh, beetle I know. You need to sleep this off. Yeah, what? maybe it was the interrupted nap. You Is having Sean a bad okay? Dream? I don't know. You don't when live with Sean? When was the last Sean? time you saw Sean? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Remember when you were a hero and you called 911 and saved Sean's life? Ah, that's pretty, pretty that important. That's a big deal. If you weren't here, that wouldn't have happened. Well, I don't know. You want some money? No, thanks. Wow. <laughs> I'll take some. Yeah, if you're handing it out. If you're already. handing out money, I'll take. I'll take, I'll take some. Well, you're gonna have to threaten bucks. to kill yourself. <laughs> I will. Not you, me. No, nah, beat. Don't come on. Stop talking like that, man. Stop. All you right, don't listen. Mean I'm gonna. You know what I'm gonna do, beat? I'm gonna. I'm gonna h turn you over to the guys, and they said they're gonna keep an eye on you. Okay. And really, please be careful with yourself, and and don't talk. You know. You know. If you're having these feelings, I want you to talk to someone. You All know right. what you do? Give us a call tomorrow, okay? Please. Hey, Beat, the guys you're with today, you like them, right? The good guys? Are you friends? No, I don't know. Mm -hmm. All right. Who was that guy who came in? I never saw him. He seems like a nice guy. Yeah. Call us tomorrow, Beatle, okay? All right, Beat. And Will's going to help you out. I love you, Beat. You're welcome. You're welcome. Just told you I love you. I love you, man. I love you. Thank you. We all love, we all love you. Yeah. I love you, Beat. Yeah. yeah, we all love you, buddy. You're in a room we'll full of love, Beetle. We'll Beetle, feel. you'll never feel more love than right now. Everybody loves you. You got friends? You, you got... gonna call us tomorrow? Please. I don't know. I'll think about it. Say right. yes. Just say yes. Please. I'll think about it. All right. All Fair right. enough. There's a picture of you yeah, up on the screen. Yeah, who's that guy? Here's the guy. There's the guy I know. Happy. See the smiling Beetlejuice? Mr. Happy. That's Happy Beetlejuice. No, I ain't happy. Do I look no, happy I mean up on the screen. Up look. on the screen. Look See at the screen. the screen. No, I'm not happy. Put a picture of Beat's family up there. Remind them. I'm, I'm not happy. I'm not. Look, who are those people? 
That's my mother and me. That's right. I'm not laughing. I'm not at me. But you love your mother, right? I love my mother. You love your mother. Okay, so then you do treat her well and your Don't sister. Don't you make her cry. Right. All right. All right. Oh, all right. That's okay. The guy from hole, uh, hole one or hole two is on. He wants to blow oh, air geez. into his watch pussy. You want to hear it? I don't want to hear nothing. All right. All right. Thanks, Pete. I hope everything's okay. You're a good man. I was going to, you know, try and promote the DVD. And please purchase Beetlejuice's new DVD, Bad as Take Ken. it easy, Beetle. Bye, Beat. Be good, buddy. All right, Beat. Let's keep an eye on him. Yikes. Oh, my God. I'm glad he didn't see that picture. That would have put him in a worse depression. And he was naked. <laughs> Maybe not. I mean, that's kind of cheering me up. If you want to book Beat, go to jollydwarf.com. That's me. Uh, jollydwarf.com. Right, jolly All right, today he's not jolly. <laughs> Hey, the guys, you know, even Elvis, you know, had bad moments. Yeah, I've never seen the guy so down. Not that down. That sucks. Pete. Oh, my God. I'm All right. Okay. Nothing, nothing Howard said would work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. I mean, that's kind of cheering me. What's... Yeah, well. If you want to buck Pete, go to John of the War. Whatever. Pete, what's the problem, though, man? Well, Whatever. Did anything Howard say hit home? Get that fucking thing out of my face, man. Please. Lisa, don't hound Beetlejuice. Leave him alone. He doesn't want the microphone in his face. <laughs> well, he's, yeah, he doesn't want... Lisa, leave him alone. Uh, Lisa, leave him alone. Oh, my God. Hey, hey, hey. What are you doing, man? Lisa, leave him alone. Beetlejuice just ripped the microphone out of her hands. And he doesn't like the paparazzi. <laughs> he's had problems with the press. All right. Beach, not some, uh, He's drinking punch. that Hawaiian punch already. <laughs> That's what you turn to. Actually, that'll help him. Well, when B comes back and he's in a better mood, I tell you, he'll talk into the egg beater. Yeah, yeah. We'll have that. to try. Keep all those ideas on yeah, hold. I will. I'm glad we picked the, the one that looked the least like the phone first. That's <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we should have started with an iPod again. It worked. Over you know, there. whenever Sean calls me and says he wants to book Beetlejuice on, I, I say fine. Of course. I always have Beetle on. But apparently, I felt sad, and uh, I think it's serious when someone says they're thinking about killing themselves. You have to treat it seriously and uh, try to figure out, you know, what you can do if you care about them. Today, Beetle was the lowest of the low. I've never seen him like that. I didn't think he had the capacity to get that depressed, to be quite honest. He comes in here, you know, sometimes and he won't talk. That's kind of normal, but today was like a new low. Talking about suicide, it's never good when Beat's talking suicide. I hope if people close to him do try to really reach out and, and, uh, and try to make a difference and, and try to figure out what's going on and try to help him. He's a good guy, you know. What does he know? He's a harmless guy. You know what? Um, I came in in the middle of it, and they had told me that he started to get upset as soon as he saw your TV camera. And then when I came back there, it was you and the other camera person. And then I just compounded the situation with my microphone. I've got to get closer to his face than you do with my microphone. So I think it was the combination of two cameras, a microphone. He saw me. Doesn't. I don't think a, a woman back there is his comfort zone if you're not a stripper. So he saw my microphone and he just chucked it and it and, uh, flew out of my hands. I don't know, man. I've never seen him like this before. I never saw him get violent like that where he grabbed Lisa's mic and, and tape it going and threw it at her and then smashed it on the floor. I mean, I don't get it. I'm back there and I have a job to do. And if he's the guest and uh, he, he's there on my turf, you know, my time, then of course I'll do the story. That's what a reporter does. He's very moody, so the next time he comes in, he'll have no recollection of today, and he'll probably be in a great mood. You know, it's hit or miss with Beat. Sometimes he comes in, and he's the greatest guy ever. Sometimes he comes in, and he won't open his mouth. You never know what you're going to get with Beat Meister. And you want to run on cocaine. I'm with a death, cocksucker. Hey, now.